and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do an update for the Zodiac Attack Dose products. And this is the first update and it is late, I know. I just had a few videos I wanted to get up before this, so I don't want to excuse myself, but here's the first update and I hope I won't be late with the other ones. This collab was started by Anna from Ginger Schnaps and she asked a bunch of ladies and I was so excited to be invited in this collab. So this collab is based on the zodiac signs. I misunderstood her idea of this project, so I kind of have my own twist on the project. Her idea was to pick one product for each zodiac sign. I understood it as you pick your own zodiac sign and then you choose 12 products. That happens when you don't have English as your first language, you misunderstand something other people say. I will show you some empties I have, some progress, and then I decluttered an item. So my zodiac sign is the Sagittarius, I think, the Archer. So as I said in the intro, I chose 12 products based on that. If you want to hear my explanations for each product and why I chose it and so and so, you can check out my intro up in the cards or down below in the description box where the other ladies and Anna is linked, of course. I did a declutter a few weeks ago and I did declutter one of my items in this project and that is the, the Body Shop T3 Pore Minimizer Primer. I just hated the smell of it and I just didn't think it did anything for my skin or made my makeup last longer or anything like that. So I just declutter it and my cousin is now loving it so. So she's happy <laughs> and uh, I'm happy too because I don't have it in my life anymore. So let's start with the makeup bit and I will just talk about this eyeliner and then hopefully it will be gone next time. This is the black eyeliner from Lord & Barry. It is in the color Travel Black. This is I don't want to swear, but this is so awful. So awful. Because I don't think I have used this much eyeliner. I basically think it's because it have broken a few times. Here is my progress for this first month. And that is amazing progress, yes. But I'm pretty sure I have only used half of what the progress is. I had this because it cracks here, so the product is amazing itself, but the pencil, it cracks all the time. Let's talk about something positive, <laughs> and that is my eyeshadow I have in this project, and that is a green shade, and it is this shade right here. My goal was to hit pan on this shade, and I have, so this is the first product done. I didn't mention that, but when I finish a product or call something done, I won't put anything in because I have so much going on that I can't handle anything new right now. I did hit pan on that one and I'm very, very pleased about it because I don't like the shade <laughs> at all. I do talk about it in my Panda Palette update, so if you haven't seen that, please go check that out. Then I have my red lipstick from Oriflame in number 26. Um, yeah, I did use it on top of a pale pink lip liner, so it looks weird. On the 1st of April, I think, I was up to here and I have only worn it like once since. So you can't really see the progress, but okay, I'm a bit below the last line and when I started this project I was a bit below the first line so I did make that much progress just not these lines because this is in my finished 17 in 2017 so these lines is for that project I'm very happy about my progress because it is a red lipstick so I'm just going to work on it this year and this was a project so I could use it more often but I don't <laughs> so only a few times a month. <laughs> this is my Essence Make Me Brow Brow Gel and I really like this stuff and I have used it solid for three to four months now. I can see it's 
more empty than last time so I think I can finish this by the end of the project. Then we have some empties for the body care stuff in this project and one thing I am decluttering and see if anyone wants it because it doesn't work for me. So the two things I did finish is the Isana Young Active Clear Antibacterial Clear Up Strips thingy. I hate this stuff, it doesn't do anything for me so I'm just happy that I didn't have more than two in here um, that I needed to finish but yeah these are just the strips here in the package it's just some blackhead removal thingy and it didn't do anything so waste of my time the other product I did finish is the Minus 417 Ocean Foot Nursing Cream. I was up to here last time and I did finish this in just a week or so. So I'm very, very pleased that this is gone because my feet is back to normal. If you didn't see my intro, I had very raw feet and very dry feet. So this helped me a lot. So I can totally recommend this lotion for the feet if it is a problem for you. I'm so happy that this is gone now because I don't need it anymore. This one is the Big Sexy Hair Root Pump. I used this once and it didn't do anything for me. So I will pass this on to my, one of my girlfriends and maybe she wants it in her life but because she has shorter hair than me and maybe it works for her. Then we have this lotion and it is and pomegranate body lotion from Matas. It's the Danish brand and I love this stuff and I didn't use it much but I did make some progress. This is where I started and this is where I am now and my goal is to get to this silver line here underneath pomegranate and macadamia nut oil and so it's done for here. So I need to use this more but I am working on a few body lotions right now so that's why I didn't use it more but now I'm done with the other one I can use this more so I'm pretty sure I can hit my goal for this one and I really really hope so because I have a lot of lotion and I really don't go through it that fast. Then I have my L'Oreal Elnet Satin Hairspray thingy. I don't like this stuff it doesn't do that much for me. I did use it quite a bit but when I use hairspray once in a while, I do use a lot at the time. So this is a one or two times I have used that. So if there is a one time in the next month I'm going to do my hair, I will use this and this will be gone. And I'm, I can't wait <laughs> because I do have another hairspray that does wonders for me and this doesn't do anything. And then we have my Flora by Gucci perfume and I did make small progress but I'm very very bad at applying perfume. I forget most of the times. Here it was the intro and now I'm down to here so not that much progress but I do love this perfume but it is going bad. It is kind of alcohol smelly so I need to work this out of the collection fast because yeah it doesn't smell that good anymore but i know i loved it when i got, first got it it's an expensive perfume but i did get it from my daddy so yeah i need to i need to use it <laughs> okay and the last product is my the body shop rainforest radiance detangling spray and I love this stuff because my hair is very tangly when I get out of the shower, so this helps a lot. And I did use it a few times. <laughs> um, so here was the intro, now I'm here. And I might be a bit under that line because I did use it today and I accidentally marked it before I took the shower. But yeah, this is where I am and I'm very, very happy. And if I use it consistently, I will finish this by the finale and I can buy a new one. So that was everything for my update. I hope you enjoyed and please check out the other ladies and Anna down below. Go show them some love and please stay around on my channel. You can subscribe down below and all my social media links will be on the screen and down below in the description box as always. And yeah, I hope you are doing well until my next video. Bye guys.